Peace and love, y'all. What's going on? My name is Stevie Zenith, and in today's video, what we're going to do is talk about Facebook analytics no longer being available, y'all. That's right. A lot of people have been hitting us up lately, freaking out about the prospect of them not being able to track their data anymore. So what we're going to do in this video is break down different things that you can do to still be able to track your data. It's not as bad as it seems, but watch the video in its entirety and we're going to break that whole thing down for you. Now, before we even jump in, I want you to do me a quick favor and click that subscribe button below and make sure that you hit that bell notification as well so that you can stay in the know anytime we drop a new video educating y'all on how to be more effective marketers, more effective ad advertisers for your brand all right now we're gonna go ahead and jump in right now I'm gonna show you a couple different clips that we've recorded we're gonna break down each section one by one all right y'all so one thing I want to say off the bat is that the reason why Facebook is switching from Facebook analytics and they're getting getting rid of it is because they value the user experience okay the user is number one in Facebook eyes and they want to make things a lot easier by consolidating things and making it easier on you so the first tool that you can use to replace Facebook analytics is going to be Facebook business suite now not everyone has this yet not everyone has this but here's how you get to business suite if you do have it first things first you're gonna be inside of your business settings you're gonna simply click this business tools button right here and you're gonna go to manage business and scroll down and click on business suite and it'll take you right there alternatively what you can do is you can go to business.facebook.com and if you do have business suite it should just send you right over here to this page this is your Facebook business suite and it's really cool because they've really consolidated a lot of things and made it a lot easier for you to manage both your Facebook and Instagram accounts all in one place y'all so let me I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of the some of the features um, that they're allowing you to do here so first things first this is your home page so what it's gonna show you here is your recent posts all right so you're gonna see all these recent posts you can see the amount of people reached you can see the likes um, the comments you can see all of those things right here and this is both for Facebook and Instagram y'all all right now as we scroll down it'll also show you some of your recent ads and how they performed lately it'll show you the reach it'll show you the amount spent you also have the ability to see all of the ads that you've run now let me bring you back up here because one thing that it does give you the ability to do is boost your posts right here now boosting posts I hate it I do not recommend boosting posts at all because you just don't have the same control but Facebook wants to make things easier for you so they do give you that option they kind of dangle that bait at you don't boost your post y'all but Facebook is giving you the option to do so um, now another thing that you can do here is you can see some of the recent activity on both of your accounts um, you have the ability to even inbox and message people who DM you on Instagram and Facebook all in one place which is also a very awesome feature um, you have your calendar here where you can begin scheduling things and I thought a very cool feature that it allows you to do is actually post directly from here so if we click on post you see here that you can actually create your own posts right here and you can publish it to both Facebook and Instagram and you can also see a little bit more detail on um, some of these posts here that that have happened in the past so if we come over here to create posts you have the ability to select not only Facebook but Instagram as well choose your text choose your photo you could add your location if you want to and then you could do the same thing for Facebook add your Facebook text text um, so that's another really cool feature that um, that business suite allows you to do now if we if we come back home here another cool thing is you have the ability if you're doing e-com you have the ability to manage your commerce right here um, you have the ability to run ads right here I wouldn't recommend running ads right here though what I would do is I would go to more tools and I would go to ads manager to do that I wouldn't run my ads um, right here um, now another really cool feature that you can check out is the insights feature all right so this insights feature is cool because it allows you to view a lot of the characteristics um, of people that are following with following you all right so if we take a look at the overview here it's just simply gonna show us an overview of the amount of people that your page has reached um, it's also gonna show you that on Instagram as well so Facebook and Instagram it's allowing you to do that um, it also shows you some of your content some of your more recent posts um, and you can sort by reach by which ones have reached the most um, all the way down to the ones that haven't really reached anyone so this is gonna be really good y'all and honestly you can really check this out um, when you're kind of testing when you're posting a bunch of content here's a cool strategy for you when you post your content one thing that you can do is post different styles of content different styles of creative 
and let's say you do it for two weeks to three weeks time just continue to post different style creatives then what you can do is look back here and see which style creative performed the best you can then take those creatives and begin running ads to those because those have passed the test and are now proven um to actually engage with people and get you results all right so that's something you can do here now if we go here and we click on trends it gives us a more detailed look on the trends going on with not only our facebook page but also our Instagram page. It'll show us the reach. Um, you can see here they have a cool little line graph here, um, and you can see some of your ad trends as well if you're running ads. So content-wise, we just spoke about content. Um, you can see here that you can check out some of your more recent posts and see which ones have the most engagement, have the most reach. You can see the likes and reactions here as well. Um, like I said, that's, this is a really good tool to kind of see which particular posts are performing the best, not only on Instagram, but also on Facebook too. So I really like this tool also. Um, then you can click on audiences and it'll show you the audiences and the demographics of people that are engaging with not only your Facebook, but also your Instagram page. Um, It'll show you the top cities. Uh, it'll show you top countries that are rocking with you. All of these things are really, really cool. And I just really like this tool because of that. So, you know, don't, don't think that it's the end of the world because Facebook analytics is going away. You can definitely use this tool to be successful and crunch your data um, more effectively. So the next tool that you can utilize to replace your Facebook analytics is gonna be your ads manager. All right, and I showed you how to get to ads manager. Um, in my first part. So in, this we're inside of Ads Manager right now, and I just wanna show you some of the cool things you can do to, to track your analytics, review your data, and that type of thing. So here we are inside of Ads Manager. You see we have a bunch of different things going on here um, inside of this particular Ads Manager. But one thing I wanna fo focus your attention on is these different columns here. Results, reach, impressions, cost per result. Um, all these different columns here that Facebook is giving you, these are these are the columns that Facebook gives you by default, right? So you have the ability to see who's actually looking at your ad. And you see here that we got some numbers here. So you can see who's actually looking at your ad. You can see your cost per result. You can see your amount spent. You can see the, the people that are clicking your link, um, your website purchases. All these different things you can see right here inside of Ads Manager, which is really, really cool. Now, it doesn't stop here. Here's another thing that you can do. If you go ahead and click on this button right here, right? This button right here is the breakdown button and you can get really, really specific about um, the data that you're collecting. So for instance, I'm gonna click this breakdown button and I'm gonna go buy delivery. When I do that, I have the ability to, to see what which demographics are actually um, engaging with my brand the most. So let's just say we wanna do age and gender. I click on age and gender and then they're just going to give me a bunch of data based on the age and gender. So um, first thing you want to look over here to the left and you see um, female 35 to 44, 45 to 54 and then uncategorized. So essentially what you can do if you wanted to see the age ranges of people, the age and gender of people that are clicking your link. Obviously, you see at the very top here, it's 200 229 people here that click the link total but you can get very specific right you see that 35 to 44 female has clicked on my link 94 times you see 45 to 54 female has clicked on my link 135 times so this is really good when you want to get really specific about your data and also find that particular sweet spot as far as the age ranges of people um, the age ranges and gender of people that are that are rocking with your ads, that are engaging with your ads. This is an amazing tool that you can use um, to identify that. And then if we look at purchases here, for people that have purchased from your brand, you definitely wanna know the age range or the demographic of people that are purchasing. So this tool allows you to do it. You have the ability to really look at a lot of these different things. Now, if we click the breakdown tab again and go to buy delivery, we have the ability to choose other things too, such as the location, the country, um, the platform that people are purchasing from, the placement, and all the placement means is, is it Facebook Messenger? Is it Facebook News Feed? Is it Facebook Story? Is it Instagram Story? That's what the placement is. So you have the ability to check out a lot. For instance, if we click on placements here, we can see you know where a lot of this action is coming from. So let me show you. For instance, let's take a look here for instance, at um, some of these purchases here. So total we have 14, 
Two we know for sure have come from Facebook news feed, which is good data. We also know that two have come from the Facebook or from the Instagram feed. We know that one purchase has come from the Explore page. So these are things that you can take a look at. Um, I mean, the, the list goes on and on. You could do it for link clicks, uh, a lot of these different things. So these things are really, really important for you to be able to analyze your data effectively. Now, if I clear the breakdown, I want you to I want to show you something else. Like I said, by default, these columns are selected. But if you wanted to get more granular and more specific with the data that you're collecting, all you would need to do is click on columns right here. And like I said, by default, they're giving you the performance column, but you can you can do it differently. Like if you wanted to track how many people are viewing your video, you can simply click on video engagement and you can see the amount of three second video views that you've gotten, the amount of through plays, which is a 15 second video view or they viewed the whole video. Um, you can look at that. You can look at the percentage of plays that people have done. So for instance, uh, a 25% video play is pretty much someone that watched at least 25% of your video and it goes all the way up to 100%. I would say your sweet spot for this is going to be 75% because if they watch 75% of your video, then you know for sure that they're definitely engaged with what you're doing. You can take this data right here, create a lookalike audience off of it, and start targeting and finding highly targeted people that are going to rock with your brand. That's a great way to find your target audience as well. But these tools are, are really, really good here inside of Ads Manager. I encourage all of y'all to definitely dive in and, and look through it. Another cool thing that we have the ability to do here, if we go ahead and click on this drop down once again, like I said, we're on video engagement, but we can also do something really cool. We can customize our columns. So if I click customize column, and let's say I wanted to see um, how many purchases I got as well. I can just type in purchase, and then we see right here that there's a purchase metric that we can select by clicking total. And then all of a sudden, if we look to the right here and we scroll down, we see that purchases is right here. We can move that column to anywhere we want if we want to tog toggle it and make it a little more um, visible without having to scroll to the left, we can do that. And then typically what I'll do is I'll unselect all the unnecessary um, boxes here and I'll just leave it as purchases. Then we'll do save and then we'll do test one. We'll name this test one right here. Then all you have to do is hit apply. And then what you can do is you see purchases shows up right here. So a lot of cool things you can do. You have a whole lot of control back here. So I definitely encourage y'all to not be afraid of this, this update and go ahead and dive into your data because it's all at your fingertips. So here is the last amazing tool that you can use to replace your Facebook analytics. And this is going to be your events manager. All right, now let me show you how to get there real quick. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna click these three, three lines right here. We call it the hamburger, all tools. You click that. And this is gonna be your navigation to everything that you need here. Um, you're gonna go to Events Manager. If it's in your shortcuts, that means that you use it a lot. If it's not, you just simply come to Manage Business and click on Events Manager, and it's gonna pull this particular page up. Now, inside of your Event Manager, this is the home of your Facebook Pixel events. If you ever wanna see what's going on with your Facebook Pixel, if you ever wanna make sure that it's actually collecting accurate data, this is where you're gonna go to see it. If you look here at the top here, we have all our activity. And basically, it only gives you activity up to the last 28 days. Um, it doesn't go further than that. It gives you that information. Now, with that being said, as you scroll down here, you can see the different events that are happening. Now, in order to know that your pixel is firing correctly, you're gonna see this active green button right here. That means that your pixel is active and collecting data. Now, up at the top here, we see this little line graph that shows the amount of data that's being collected at specific times during the day, all right, which is good, right? Um, to the right, we have our pixel ID, our URL, all of those type of things. All that's cool, but let me get to the actual data part that y'all are interested in. So, cool thing here is, as you know, and some of you don't know, the Facebook Pixel now can only track up to eight specific events with the new iOS update. So the Facebook Pixel is giving you all the events that it's tracking. Now it'll show you over the last 28 days the number of total events that it has actually received here. You can see here that the page views is around 13K for this particular website. Um, your view content, which is anytime someone views the product page or a product page on your website is 3.5. Your add to carts is 342, so on and so forth. It goes all the way down the line, all right? Now, here's the thing. 
This is good in itself because it's some good data, but if you want to get really granular and really specific about the data that's being collected here, you can simply click this little drop down. All right. Now, when you click the drop down, once again, it shows you the line graph, but it's more specific to this particular event. Okay. It's giving you all this data. It even says it even has the browser events process. And I'm going to get into that in a second. But you can see each day by time, you can see what's happening. Who's, who's going to your website or how many people are going to your website. All right, now if you look to the right here, it says advanced matching activity. All advanced matching does is basically saying that if you've collected any data from that customer in the past that you have, um, the pixel can actually um, track that data and add it to the person um, that performed a specific event on your website. Meaning that let's say I go to your website and I'm clicking around or whatever. If you already have my email address, what it's gonna do is the pixel is gonna match that up with me so that now when you go to create a custom audience based off of people that have viewed your product or people that have viewed your website, it's gonna use some of that matching to match me up specifically so that when I create my lookalike audience, it's gonna be a lot stronger audience and a better match. Facebook is doing everything in its power to collect the strongest data possible since this iOS update has happened. Um, they're doing everything in their power to do that. But you can see here with advanced matching, um, we're matching by city, email, first name, last name, state, zip code. Um, so basically 7% of the people that viewed the product page are actually um, going to be advanced matched. Okay, um, so that's something to keep in mind. Facebook has your back here. I encourage all of y'all to continue running Facebook ads. Now it gets even more specific though, because another thing that you can do here is you can go ahead and you can view details. I wanna really focus on viewing the details. Now, when you view the details, you can see specific activity that has happened on the website. Okay, you can see the specific activity. Now let's get a little more granular. Let's go to event overview. And you can see here the amount, this is the amount of events that have been received over the last 28 days, right? 16,000 um, page views, right? Now, events process is around 13,000. So there's a difference there, there's a discrepancy. Um, the discrepancy is this, events that have been deduplicated. All this means is that 16,000 different events have happened on your website. 12,000 or 13,000 of those events have happened from different people. Um, and of those 13,000 events that have happened, they've viewed a page on your website 16,000 times. So essentially, this is the amount of specific different users viewed the actual website. And this is the amount of total events that have happened. Hope that makes sense for you. Um, so the, du the duplicated amount is basically the amount of people or the amount of times that your page was viewed. Um, essentially by the same person that's what that means all right so they're giving you the total here all right now that's really cool now here's another thing that you can do and we're about to get really specific here so if you click on data source right click the drop down and let's say you wanted to see the urls that were visited you would simply click there and it'll show you the the urls that are visited on your website this is going to be really good for when um, you know you want to specifically see what particular pages people are viewing the most on your website this is it right here all right now if you click the drop down again and let's say you want to go to devices you can literally see the devices that people are using the most to visit your website we got ios mobile phone we got android we got windows right for the desktop we got the ipad here we have the desktop for macs we have android tablets you know what i'm saying so you want to get specific and you worried about the Facebook analytics being gone, do not worry about that because there's so many ways for you to collect this data, y'all. I'm telling you, this is amazing. Um, so if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, we got a lot more content coming here, but I just wanted to show you, have no fear. Like the, Facebook's doing everything it can to make sure that you're in good hands here. And I just wanted to focus on this particular part here because this is how you collect your information. Now, aggregated event measurement, if you wanna learn more about that, definitely check out our previous iOS update video. We go very in depth into that. Um, and be sure to subscribe to us for more and we will see you in the next video. Peace.